All right, so I promised you guys another video. This is gonna be a little bit longer. So 3D printed stuff for the go-kart. Got the little switch housing here. I might reverse the switch so up is on and down is off, but this is how it ended up. So we got the switch here that turns the headlights on. We've got the running light here with the printed spacer. We've got the battery mounted down here. I have a battery tender hook up here, which is topping the battery off. And if I turn this off here, you can see the brake light goes out, which is the running light. So this is the running light. And then if I press the brake pedal, you can see it gets brighter. And if I turn the headlights off, the running lights shut off and the brake light is always active. So I have the brake light wired up to a little switch here. It's actually an old end stop switch. And you can see it right there. And it's connected to the normally closed contact. So basically the brake pedal, which returns, is always pressing up on this, breaking the connection. So as soon as I press the pedal, it opens up and the normally closed contact goes into effect, which turns on the running light. So I'm gonna press the brake pedal. There we go. I'm gonna turn the headlights on, which turns the running lights on. And you can see there's two different brightness levels and it's pretty bright. And there we go. 3D printing helping me out with one of my other hobbies. So I'm gonna do the same thing with her cart. We got a headlight, same brake light. I'm going to do something similar for the brake pedal here with a little micro switch. But you can see here they're pretty bright. I'll turn the lights off here. And that's uh, plenty of light to ride at night. So there we go. Lights on, lights off. There we go. So basically when I come back into the house, it'll go on the battery tender and it'll top it off. I don't have to remember to turn the switch on for the brake light to work. Basically, the brake light is always technically able to be turned on and it just shuts off with the switch on the brake pedal. So there we go. How's that for some practical prints? You guys like that? I hope you guys do. My only concern is how well this is going to hold up. I did put the switch on there with a zip tie and some VHB. So basically it's VHB, then I wrapped it in electrical tape, and then put a zip tie around here. So you can see that I'll get a little closer. And when I pull the brake pedal, you can see the switch opens. And you know, keep it simple. Got two wires going to the back there, positive comes up, and when it goes back, it turns the light on. So there we go. I really like this little switch housing. My brother Doug actually designed this for me and uh, put a little bit of VHB on the back here to keep it from rotating, but it's pretty sturdy. So we'll see. My only concern um, might be because this is PLA, but if it starts warping, we can just print another one. But I think we'll be okay because most of the heat's up here on the motor and on this side. So we got the flywheel over here. We'll find out. And if you notice, this battery's a little undersized because this tray is actually designed to hold these smaller ones, which I have a ton of from an old UPS. And it can also take the 9 amp hour ones, which are longer. So two zip ties, and that sucker is not going anywhere. All right. I'll let this charge up, and then we'll have to take it for a ride tomorrow.